Hey M5, and I just wanted to make a quick video about the new triple damage game mode that hit live yesterday. If this has managed to slip under your radar, this is the new implementation of the 3-2-1 composition where you've got three damage dealers, two supports, and one tank. And this is something that we're hearing might be a solution to the low population of tanks at the moment queuing for the game. A lot of people had been speculating that Ball would be really strong in this mode, given a 3-2-1 ball comp was run by the Shanghai Dragons in the playoffs of Stage 3, so I thought I'd try to be on time and get as many games done as possible to sort of get a feel for the mode and see what I made of ball in this new environment. I ended up playing 9 games last night and won 8 of them, and you might think, wow, that sounds great, you must be having a great time, ball must be really strong, but this experimental card actually has a pretty big problem at the moment with tons of levers every game. And I'd say most of these wins just came down to me staying in the game while other tanks joined and left the other team. Player investment in these games is a real problem and it makes it really hard to get a good read on whether this is a good state of the game. But that's not to say I don't have opinions about it and that's what we're going to be going into now. Because I would actually hate to see this replace roll queue. You might think that with three damage dealers that there would be more damage happening in a game. But the end cards where I'm seeing how much healing my team's been doing and a percentage of the overall damage that have been taken looks a bit lower than normal to me and that makes sense because there's only one tank being healed. Your average Genji player is going to have a much easier time farming Blade off a D.Va hitbox than he is off Tracer. So guaranteeing that there's only ever one tank to play against means a much slower rate of building ultimate for these DPS characters. As much as the team's potential effective DPS might have gone up, the damage taken overall by a team is going down. And this has also resulted in fewer support ultimates coming online. Without a second tank player alongside me, there's less of an emphasis on big team fights and I can't apply my ideas of where I want to take fights because the team's playing so split. This can make certain areas of some of the maps more forgiving, like second on Dorado is a lot easier somehow, but I feel like the gameplay itself isn't being informed by the map as much as it used to be. On top of that, the slower rate of building ults and never killing a full tank combo with them because they're just not in the game makes a lot of the teamfights that you do win less rewarding. This could be something that might be addressed by bringing the cost of ultimates down, but the way players themselves seem to be addressing the problem is by running what I'm calling a utility DPS, which is Sombra most of the time. Sombra doesn't have to worry about the pressure on her team from a normal tank lineup of two tanks, and while both sides are respecting sightlines and staying in cover, Sombra's got a ton of downtime to navigate to a good spot to find a hack on a vulnerable target and start an engage for her team. You can imagine that Sombra is quite keen on securing that big juicy bag of ult charge, the tank on the other team for her team, so that they can build some ultimates to a potential win condition on a objective like 2CP. And in some games it does feel like I just sort of sit around and wait until I get told I can't play the game and then I die. It's easy to think that in a solo tank lineup that the composition would become about um, enabling the main tank to do things and using them as like the tip of the spear in your engagements. But I think in reality we just have a lot of DPS that punish main tanks a lot more easily than they enable them. And I feel like my team has the most success when I just stay low maintenance and try and keep myself alive. And when I do think of how I want to enable my main tank, I'm thinking of off tank classes. I'm thinking Zarya, I'm thinking D.Va. And I don't think that isolating these characters and trying to force them into being things that provide for their team as the solo tank makes much sense at all. There are so many sort of tank duos I'm familiar with that I watch on Twitch or in the Overwatch League that I'm passionate about. And this idea of tank synergy is something that's really core to the game for me and it's what keeps me coming back to it. Whether that's an old friend coming online that I can play Ryan Zarya again with, or a complete stranger playing main tank for me in Ranked, Working with my other tank player can be one of the most rewarding feelings in a game, and that kind of emotion is completely absent from this 3-2-1 composition. Even if I pick Zarya again, I'm not getting the choice of who I want to support. I'm not saying, Ryan, I've got bubble for you, and I'm not pulling a 180 to bubble my support that got pulse bombed. It feels like some of the skill ceiling and definitely the personality that I have as a player gets taken away here. But you might know me as a ball player, and of course, ball seems to be... A decent pick in these games and one thing I have been enjoying is not having to play with Roadhogs and not having someone else take ball. I do think ball can work really well, uh, it's just difficult playing into Sombra almost all the games and I've been trying to use this environment where players aren't frustrated if we don't win or if I'm not performing to try and practice streaming and playing the game at the same time since a few people on this channel have been asking if I could stream, I'm actually trying that now so if you're somehow not sick to death of listening to me now, you can actually come and catch me live since I should be live right as I'm uploading this video. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out and there's a bunch of cute follow notifications that I took a while making so 
I will say that you shouldn't expect much because I get so nervous playing in front of people. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've uploaded. I'm going to be trying to upload a gameplay video, probably on control of this sort of 3-2-1 composition stuff, and then I'll be making more videos about Ball soon.